Welcome to this video where I will be explaining how to randomly change the color of a sprite once it is clicked. So let's get started. To begin, we are going to create a sprite. Now, if you already have your own sprite, you can use that. If not, Unity is really awesome in that you can essentially make your own sprite in here. So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna create, then here I'm gonna go sprites, and then I can select which shape I want. So I'm just gonna use a square. You can use any of these. Square right here. We'll leave the name as square. And as you can see, that is the sprite. All I have to do is just drag that into this sample scene here and it'll create that sprite for us, as you can see. And we're gonna add a box collider 2D to it. Oh, it's gonna fit perfectly around our square. Then you can create a script. I called it change color. You can do so by right clicking, create, then up to C sharp script. I already have mine, so we can open that up. Alrighty. So first we need to create the square. It is sprite renderer, because it is a sprite. And then we need to initialize it in the start method. So just square is the name I used to name the square. This can be anything. I could have written my sprite. I could have even called it circle if I felt like it. So this is an arbitrary name, but it's generally good to name uh, this variable something that's fitting. So in our case, we have a square sprite. So I named it square. And then we are going to create a method called private on mouse down. So on mouse down means while I'm holding my mouse down, this thing happens, or this happens as I hold my mouse down. So what we want to do is we want to change the square color to a random, and this is a color, a random color. And then just to make sure that this is working, I'm going to print change to show that we have changed our color. Now, on the slight chance that uh, you get an error, it could be because both the system and Unity Engine have random methods. So if that's the case, just write unity.engine right over here, right before that random. And hopefully that should work. And the reason why we created a box collider 2D before is if you look, it's called when the user has pressed a button over the collider as you can see so essentially if we didn't have the collider it wouldn't recognize that we clicked the square so i'm going to save this script we're going to go back to unity i'm going to click our square object then we have to add our script you can do that by just dragging it or you could add component and search for the name of that script here then we have as you remember the sprite square. So this is the part where you can drag either, you can drag the component and stuff like that. I saw the word sprite renderer, clicked it, held down, or you could also click this little button here, square selected. Now, we run the game, click our square, and as you can see, it's changed color. And just to make sure, it, we have printed changed again. So we continue clicking twice, three times, four times. Random set of colors for our sprite. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you have found this sprite changing color useful and that you can implement it into your own project.